Hello everyone, I am Professor Mosmi Vanzare from Department of ENT Seek Engineering of AISSMS Institute of Information Technology, Pune. Today I am going to explain the concept of calibration. Calibration plays a very important role in the field of measurement instruments. No measurement instrument can be used for measurement of any unknown input without undergoing the process of calibration. So let's understand what is calibration. Calibration is the process of ensuring that the measurement of an unknown input is accurate. When any newly manufactured measurement instrument or the measuring instrument used over a certain period of time is applied with the unknown input, the reading indicated by the measurement instrument must be equal to that of the true value of the input applied. Then what is the need of calibration? When the instrument is new or it is newly manufactured, we need to ensure that the measurements done by the instrument are accurate. After completion of specific operating hours, we need to ensure that the instrument is still doing the accurate measurements as well as after the instrument undergoes an accident or sudden shock or jerk we need to check if the instrument is capable of doing the accurate measurements and we need to check if the calibration has been disturbed so what if the calibration is not done or it is disturbed then the instruments will give a false or wrong measurement leading to safety risks for example if the speedometer of a vehicle is indicating wrong speed then the driver will cross the specified speed limit which will lead to an accident so the process of calibration of measurement instrument is very much important and it is simply the comparison of the readings of the instrument under test and the standard instrument by applying the same input when there is no or zero input applied to the instrument then the instrument under test should indicate the zero reading if it is not showing the zero reading then we need to adjust the offset register value so as to get the zero reading and this is called as zero adjustment when we apply the input corresponding to maximum capacity of the instrument then it should show or indicate the same maximum value if it is not showing the same reading, then we need to adjust the gain register value to provide the span setting. This is nothing but the span adjustment. This process of zero and span adjustment is to be repeated multiple times, at least three times, till we don't get the same values of input and output. Once this process is done, we need to go for the linearity setting. Here, we need to apply the various values of inputs to the instrument under test and the standard instrument simultaneously. We need to compare the value or the reading given by the instrument under test with the reading given by the standard instrument. This process is repeated till both the instruments, the standard and the under test continue to give the same readings. Then we say that the process of calibration is complete or done and the instrument is ready to measure any unknown input applied to it. Let's take an example of a pressure gauge. We have a standard pressure gauge and a test pressure gauge. The same input pressure is applied to the standard and test gauge. The standard gauge is indicating 500 bar pressure. Then it is expected that the test gauge should also indicate 500 bar pressure. If the standard and test gauges indicate different values, then we need to adjust the gain of the test gauge so that it indicates the same reading as that of the standard gauge. Thus, the process of calibration ensures that the instrument gives the accurate measurements of the any unknown input applied to it. Also, it helps to ensure the values or the readings taken by the instrument or measurement system once it has been used over the certain period of time and still it is capable of providing accurate measurements. Thank you.